Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today's video here for Tower of God, Season 2, Episode 8, I think. I think it's Episode 8. I really need to start checking these before I fucking do this. I watched Restoria before this, and I still did not check what episode it was. Anyway, we're for the next episode. I think it's Episode 8. Uh, last episode, um, Wagnon was told uh, where they could find Bam's team. Uh, Bam's old team. So that seemed, it seems like that's where we're headed now. I think they said it, we could get there in two years? Or no, we had to get there in two years to this uh, competition uh, because the, because that's when the next one is being held. Sorry, I don't know why it took me so long to get those words out. But uh, yeah, the next competition is being held in two years. I forget what the competition was called. I'm sure they'll say the name again this episode, but if we go there, we will find Bam's old team, which I'm so fucking excited for. I, I, like, I'm, I'm unbelievably excited to see how Bam's team reacts to him being alive. I'm so excited. So, like I said, we'll end up seeing how that, we will see how that ends up going. And we also had, we also had uh, <clears throat> the fight against uh, uh, Rek. Uh, Mazino, that did not go well. Bam uh, took some big hits, uh, and but he healed himself. He used that bread skeleton thing to heal himself, uh, and then he was okay after a couple days. So that happened, and Urek also got the little baby thing that uh, some of the rankers were trying to, uh, or I can't remember if it was the rankers or the big families. That I, oh yeah, it was Yiwa's family was one of the people participating in hiding these, uh, 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 what, sorry, the name, the names of the stuff was kind of hard to pronounce, so I'm, I'm not remembering it, but um, they, they were trying to monopolize it and uh, profit off it big time, and Urek exposed that being the case. So good stuff last episode. Uh, this 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 season is heating up more as we continue to go. It started with the Kuhn episode and then meeting uh, Mazino and so and so so on and so forth. It's been really good. So I'm excited to see where the rest of the season is going to go as we head towards this. I believe it was called the Workers Competition. I can't remember what it was called, but as we head to this new competition. So per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description below. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime, current anime past anime, current manga, past manga, and have non-anime conversations as well. As far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions. So feel free to check out either of those of your own will. Now without further ado, it's up straight into Tower of God Season 2, possibly Episode 8. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Emily, Emily, board play with me. What's tomorrow's weather? I'm lonely. Oh my God. Talk to me when you're bored and I'll always gladly talk to you. Emily, you can talk to me about anything. Lero Row, where is my wool hike song? In the forest on the 77th floor. What? This is crazy. What? I mean, this is in the OP. This is Lero Row and Quant here. I guess they're looking for whatever, whatever the wool hike song is. Wow, everybody's using Emily right now. What should I do to pass the test? I think you should stay in the room. <laughs> Damn. Basically telling her you're n you ain't shitting. Why are you talking like there's a person on the other end of this? It seems like an AI chat robot. What? Tell me how to love. Okay. And did I see love? Uh, question mark. Uh, your answers help me grow. Oh my god! It is literally a self-evolving AI. What? What is happening? I was not expecting this to happen in Tower of God. What is going on? Why is there a chat robot AI that's developing off people's answers in fucking Tower of God? What is happening? Oh my god. Can we stop doing this? I want to read what their messages say. I guess it's still too complicated for you, so you're a master of love. This is just most the most basic of basics. Okay, not gonna translate that last one. Any oh, anyway, what's going to be in fashion next season? Red dresses. <gasps> we heard her! This is the first time we've heard Indorosi speak this season. I love it. Lonely girls who want to be in love. Wow. <laughs> well, pretty shrewd, right? Uh, damn, tossed her to the side. Hope to experience a beautiful love like all of you. What is happening? Actually, what is going on? What is this AI fucking chat robot shit? You're a scout, so scout. Yeah, he's talking to Emily. He's gonna ask Emily for their location, and I'm currently looking for enemies during a test. Good luck, handsome is insane. Where do you think they are, right or left? Hmm, right. What? You're just gonna immediately trust that? F oh my god. What if she just leads him? Yeah, exactly. 
Maybe you should scout like an actual scout. Mm. I can't be held responsible for your actions though. This, okay, I feel like this came so out of nowhere. What the f I was just not ready for a, this at all. What the hell? Well, that was randomly terrifying there at the end. Let me, to, let me to explain the regulars exam rules. So this is the test that Kun's team is on, I'm assuming. Oh no, never mind, this is our gang. And she's like fucking... Oh, it's been two years. Oh, we've actually jumped two years? We've legitimately jumped two years. Okay, that that makes a lot more sense why this bot seemingly came out of nowhere. It's been two years. Okay, that cleared it up. Thank you. Dude, talking about Emily on box. What is box? Um, I've got a sixth sense. Oh my, hello? You two look awfully intimidating. Oh, never mind, it's a whole gang. Oh my God, are we all running for dear life? What is happening? Whoa! Is that her ability? Is that- if that's her ability, that's sick. What is with this dude's ass in the screen? No way that's Mana's ability. Or me saying sorry. Or oh, it was her doing that. I get. I guess this is- this is gonna show us how we've leveled up over the past two years. That's kind of what we're doing here. It's gonna show us how we've leveled up. Gotcha. Hello, Yiwa! Oh my god! And all of you are dead. Well, maybe not dead, but all of you are out. Huh. Mm. Mm, now we're cutting back to Kun's test here. Just disable their cannons. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that's very fun. What is happening right now? Which of us was playing with a toy during the test? Fair point. Ah, there you go. Is that, did he sense they were coming through the wall? Literally looks like a diglet. Okay, so no, Ran, Ran was not doing that. Ran, Ran was actually going to attack him. <laughs> it was definitely a fluke. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. How should we cook you is crazy. Oh my god. Hello? How, how did you fit in that hole? How on God's green earth did this giant four-armed man fit through this hole this mole made unless the mole was digging like this to make it tall enough for him to get through? <laughs> I'll take both you, Ron. Damn. Ron is uh, confident in his abilities here. <laughs> yeah, he's just dodging all over the place up there. Whoa! There you go. Took him out instantly. Are you sure about that or is that a bluff? That's a bluff. That's absolutely a bluff. Yeah, that's a bluff. He's faster anyway is crazy. Yeah, easily. Damn, he's confident in his skills. He's terrible at everything else, but he's fast as fuck. There you go. You dug your own grave. No pun intended. By digging away straight to us from your base. <laughs> Is he getting interrogated for using the fucking phone? Yeah. 
Yes, he did. They did win because of it, but it was. I I'm going over. I'm going on the opinion that it was a complete fluke until this show shows us that Emily has some fucking crazy powers or something like that. What the fuck? Uh, it did depend on unreliable information. Kuna's scary, man. There won't be a next time. Damn. Oh, God. Is it that addicting? Interesting. It seems legitimately addicting. Oh, this, uh, this eerie soundtrack that fucking kicked in. Oh, God. Fuck. Oh, my God. Kun literally put this team together and told them don't have any relations with Rachel. And she's clearly here trying to make a connection with Dan to use him if she needs to. Clearly, that is what she is doing. Fuck you! Shut, shut up, Rachel! Shut your mouth! Shut up! <laughs> she's been in two episodes, and each time she's made me so mad that I'm screaming at her to shut up. <laughs> oh my god! I hate this girl so much. <laughs> What, cause you, cause you can't walk? Dan, do not let her do this to you. This is the most, this is the most base level manipulation I've ever seen. Dan, if you can't see through this, bro, oh my God. This is the most base level manipulation I've ever seen. But then again, we know she's a piece of shit. Dan, actually no, Dan also knows. Dan also knows because Kun told all of them what she did. All of them know what she did. You should know not to trust her at all. But I feel like that's where this is going. She's probably going to manipulate Dan somehow. I feel like that's where this is headed. <laughs> Wayne and running for dear life. Uh, yeah, jumped in the fucking bushes. Uh, wh who is this guy and why is he calling Wayne and Chirpy? It's not impossible. I'll burn this whole place down. That's fine. Yep, they were so ready for that. That was the clearest mo that was the clearest trap I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh no. Oh no, the dude actually Oh. The dude actually let his guard down and almost lost the test. Bro, why don't you? Why does he? Why, wait, why does he not have his bombs? If you have the key, can you not hold anything else? Why do you have? Why does? He, oh, whatever. Bro, what is happening? What is this episode? What is this episode? What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? The other guy is most definitely not gonna let this happen, right? Yeah, there you go. This is just clown shoes. What is happening? Is Yiwa gonna step in here? Somebody? Well, no, obviously Yiwa's not gonna step in here. She was really far away with the rest of the gang. It's always gonna be Bam that's gonna step in. Yep, in comes Viole. <laughs> Hugging his legs and everything. <laughs> what is happening right now? He's got three bangs. Oh, so he can hit, use three of the fire attacks at once. <laughs> You've got two more than me. 
<laughs> He's just giggling away. What is wrong with this dude? Yeah, Wangnan talking the most shit. I, I thought that was the red-haired guy's laugh. That was Wangnan's laugh. I see. Wangnan was doing the most shit talking after he won that. <laughs> Damn, he even threw the key to him. I wouldn't mind showing you. Wow. We have no reason to do this. We have the key. We have no reason to do this. Mm, well, uh, interesting how they're just showing Bam's eyes openly now. And also, yeah, we have literally zero reason to accept this. Okay. Yep, yeah, bye. You have literally no reason to fight you, so get the hell out of here. Alright. Ramen Maru is our name? We've named ourselves Team Ramen Maru. So the prize was a legendary food. Wow. Dried cuttlefish. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they seem to have developed a kind of uh, um, uh, father-daughter relationship, maybe. <laughs> Probably, I really wouldn't doubt it. And... You've risen in the world, Wangnan. We can't. We literally can't. Has he? I, I take it. I take it. Wangnan probably hasn't told them why they're climbing so aggressively. I, I take it. Wangnan has not told them. Oh, it's in two months, huh? What's up with him? So. So he, he, they know they're going for the workshop battle now, but he still hasn't told them who's going to be there. That's interesting. <sighs> handsome, I'm currently looking for enemies during a test. Emily, good luck, handsome. She keeps calling him handsome. What do you think they are, right or left? Hmm, right, handsome, how are you feeling today? Just keeps calling him handsome over and over and over again. Is Kuhn gonna take a chance to talk to Emily? Is he alive? The 25th... What? Uh, he hello, Emily. Hello, Traveler. I just registered to go to the next floor. Traveler. That, okay, but... Kuhn, you just said... You, you were given, Dan, all that shit about unreliable information earlier, and now you want to believe Emily? Now you want to believe Emily when it says that Bam's alive. But then again, that was such a specific question that like it answered so directly. Because even with um, the stuff earlier, uh, when uh, Dan was asking which way to go, she said, hmm, right. And then ba and then uh, Kuhn goes, is he alive, the 25th Bam? Uh, which is, I'm pretty sure it's just like, I, I forget, someone explained why he, why he's referred to as the 25th Bam, but I, I forget. Uh, and and it's just a direct answer. Just a completely direct, he's alive, period. That's it. Interesting. I'll get to see you soon. I believe you're a human. Oh my god. Well, good to know that Emily is a human. No matter how much distance separates us, I can feel your heartbeat. Hope to become. There was someone who helped me get this far. That person was none other than you. Human like all of you, I love you. So it is literally a person controlling this. I love... I'm going to experience a beautiful love. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> but good to know that this Emily is actually a person controlling it. That's kind of crazy. The the mental power you have to have to be answering that many people simultaneously. I can't even imagine how many people are using this app thing. What is he doing? Is he warming himself up? What the hell is he doing? 
Anyway, <laughs> good episode. The show is really good, but I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe it, but some of the recent, like some of the stuff in this episode in particular, the, em the Emily stuff is cool. I think that's cool, but there's some things then again, these were just battles that did not matter. They were just showing us what's going on with Kuhn's team and what's going on with Bam's team two years later after the time skip. It was just kind of updating us on how things are. But I don't know. This episode just felt kind of cliche and kind of all over the place, I guess. Like I said, the Emily stuff is cool, but I don't know. Some of the stuff in this episode felt a little off to me. Wasn't bad by any means, but uh, definitely not one of the better episodes of this season. I'm super excited for the workshop battle. That seems to be our next destiny, and I'm assuming that's what we're going to wrap the wrap up the rest of the season with. So I'm super excited to see, how all, to see how all of that plays out and to see how this Emily thing plays into that as well. But I think that is going to wrap it up my reaction to Tower of God Season 2, Episode 8. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.